guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey, and we're going to be touring the island of my good friend Eden, also known as Blue Nuggies, if you happen to come to any of my streams. This island was part of Nintendo Talks RPG Challenge. She completed the island, she completed all of the quests, and she did complete the challenge, which is pretty amazing if you ask me, because I don't think I could have done it. So let's get started. Okay, so straight away we have some beautiful terraforming and I love the way all of this looks. She did get everything the old fashioned way on this island and it came out so good. So if you look at all of this, it is pretty amazing. You're pretty closed off in this entrance. So she is forcing you to go in a direction, which is really good because I'm really bad with directions. All right, let's get a move on. Because of the amount of terraforming, the only way to show you this island really was with a wide angle camera because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to show you like everything here. So here we have resident services and right away we have a rainbow view. It's beautiful. I love the way that looks with all of the terraforming and the mushies in the back. So good. And we have Eden over here. Knock, knock. She's dressed as a jester. That is what she chose as her role for the challenge. Um, there were certain rules she had to abide by. So this is the map. And her villagers are cat villagers, with the exception of Pietro and Savannah, who is their... Um, she's the prisoner on this island. So we have Raymond the ugly clown, Rosie, Stinky, Savannah, Olivia, Kabuki, Kit Kat, Tangy, and Lolly. Super cute, actually. I do love the cat villagers. They are very, very cute. So coming right over here, we have the mushy theme kept all the way through, and I love it. I wanted to see what was going on over here. I saw a pond. Oh, okay. Super cute. She's much like me where she uses a little bit of terraforming to kind of make up for everything. And I love the way that came out. This is a really cool wheat field over here. And who wouldn't want to have a picnic in the middle of a wheat field, right? And then we have our um, giant vines throughout the island, which I know she probably had to work really hard to get all of those vines. It looks like there's a carnival in the distance, so that's going to be a lot of fun to see. I can't wait to see it. Um, obviously, that's going to be Pietro's house. And right up here, we have a villager's house. It looks super pretty. I love the way this green looks with all of the red. Um, the codes here are really good, obviously. Um, Eden just has a really good natural talent for islands, and this one came out really good. Okay, so we made it down to resident services, and it looks like I have something to pick up. Let's see what we have here. Oh, I shouldn't have picked up her glowing moss. Darn. Okay, so this is an interesting outfit. Let's take off the hat. It does not belong. And here we go. We are a pirate. I love it. Pirate on the island of Jinxwood. There's a single red balloon on a jester island. Why is that giving me it vibes? Anyone? I mean... Should I go over there? It's really screaming Pennywise. What do you guys think? I, f I feel like it's sending a message. Maybe one that... And is this a poison apple then? I don't know, Eden. Is there something you need to tell me? Okay, so headed over here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. I think... I need to go over the bridge because everything else is blocked off. Let's come over here. And oh, I love these little tassels. They're so cute. The little lace rug edge. That's that's adorable. And here we have a villager house right over here on the beach. Hi, Tangy. And we're going to continue along this way. Hey, that stone path looks familiar. Is that one I made? 
huh? And then we're going to come over here to another villager's house. Now, this one there is right next to a path that says circus. So we're going to go and see what's going on over here. I love the little standee designs. <laughs> this is so cute. These are so cute. I love these. No, I want in. Give, let me in. Oh, that is adorable. We are a little devil jester. <laughs> Look at us. Oh, that is too precious. Okay, let's go along this way. We have a circus tent. I love it. Okay, now Eden did make this herself. She made the circus tent, the custom code and everything for it herself and it's so good i love that the curtains were used for this it does have a really nice like fabric effect to it and i love that it looks so good oh my gosh and i just made standees for my circus oh well but it is really cute there's a little carnival over here it's a very natural carnival i love that and then we have some little stands here to play games Oh, look at the balloons in the distance. Those look really pretty. Oh, wow. I love that all of the colors were used. That's a really good idea. And let's head this way. We have our tarot reader right over here for anyone who wants to get their cards read and a game stand. And you can put your head in the mouth of a lion. I mean, what more do you want in life? Okay, so right along back here, we have the campsite. I do love this quilt right here that's being used. And I guess if you need to take a bath, you can you can do that right over here in the Cosmos shower. I love the little shoes left out. Those are cute. You know, I would never get an opportunity to use um, that style of tent. So I think it's really cool to see it somewhere. That's not necessarily one that I would just naturally pick up. Moving along this way, we have a lake. Ooh. So we have this view right here of the cliff with a rainbow in the distance. So pretty. So this right here has a double waterfall facing backwards. I love the way this looks. This is so cool. And I've never thought to do anything quite like this. So I like the way it has like the little edge right here that you can see. And then this view right here is a spectacular. I love the way this looks. All of the terraforming is so good over here. Um, it just looks really pretty with the rainbow in the background. It's perfect for this island. So after taking little April for a bit of a swim, I came over to get a closer look at this little cliff over here with the villagers house super pretty with the food on the table it is really cute it is a five star island we have the five star flower flex gotta love that and then i'm gonna come down over here and we have the able sisters i love it so the able sisters is right over along the back of the island we do have some fake building action and back here, we have our little pirate hangout, it looks like. Um, we're defending our territory over here. It's a double rainbow. Ooh, really pretty. I love the way the double rainbow looks in this game. It's so pretty. I'm just going to make my way by the little turtle over there. Snapping turtles can get mean. Don't actually mess with them out in nature. And then we have another little terraforming situation over here. This looks super pretty as well. Okay, so this is really good. Back here we have like a little house uh, situation. It looks like maybe it's part of the pirates thing going on in the back of the island. Uh, it looks like it kind of belongs to them. Or maybe they're, this is where they're selling their goods. Something like that. It feels like it, fit, it fits in the story. So if I head this way, so Nook's Cranny is over here hidden behind a wall because it probably doesn't fit in with the island decor. 
and I don't know, I like to hide nooks cranny too. So this is a really good way of hiding your nooks. Okay, we're gonna come over this bridge over here and there's the museum. Okay, so the museum is also hidden. It was given a false roof. That looks really good right over here. Such a good choice with all of the building exteriors. Okay, we're going to head over here and see what is going on. Hi, Raymond. Bye, Raymond. So we have a villager house on the front beach with some tulips growing. The flowers are all yellow. I don't know if that's on purpose or, or what. Is this the prison? This might be a prison. <gasps> oh my gosh, she stayed in there in the dream address. There is their prisoner, Savannah. She's being heavily guarded. She's being held for ransom. I don't know exactly what for or what she did wrong, but there she is. This is what happens when you come to an island wearing stripes, girl. You just tip everybody off. And then here is Eden's house right here. This is really cool too. I always love using the castle items. They're like my favorite in-game items right now. I have a lot of favorite in-game items, but these are some of my favorites. They add quite a lot to our ability to decorate. Oh my, wow. This is a room. If I ever saw a room, this is definitely a room. It gives Viking, it gives history and conquering things. Wow. Here we have a kitchen. The kitchen looks really nice, actually. It looks like a servant's kitchen almost. Very cool. Oh, wow. This room, I don't even know what to say. Wow. This is really kind of scary, but really cool as well. And over here, we have um, the alchemist's room. So who knows what they're brewing up in here. Uh, there's definitely going to be something going on. All right, the time has come, ladies and gents. Do I want to go? Do I want to go down there? Basements are scary. I don't have the best luck with basements. Do I go in? Or do I just skip it and say, well, I couldn't find your basement. We're going to have a little bit of faith. Let's see what's going on. Oh, yeah. See, shouldn't have come. This guy rotted in jail. I'm going to go before I end up a prisoner. It's like a 50-50 shot. I never actually know what I'm going to get. Now, this room is definitely for royalty. Wow. Look at all of those paintings, and it's very fancy. We have the imperial bed. Gosh, I haven't used that in forever. So cool. All right, mateys, the time has come to say goodbye to Jinxwood for today. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're still here, thank you so much for hanging out with me for a little bit. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little of your time. And I appreciate you so much. I'm going to see if there are any socials that Eden would like linked down in the description. But in general, you can find her at my streams if you want to ever hang out with her. She's pretty darn awesome, and I'll leave the dream address down in the description below so that you can um, come and check it out yourself. I hope you have an amazing day or night, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.